Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use your Steam Deck as a desktop PC. And for a lot of people, this could replace what you have. I mean, this could become your main desktop PC. In this video, I'm gonna go over some applications that I think are a must have, but in order to get this up and running on an external monitor, you will need a USB type C to HDMI adapter. And I would highly recommend a mouse and keyboard. I'll leave links in the description. But remember, you can always run the desktop on the built-in Steam Deck screen. In my opinion, it's just much better on a larger display. So I've just got a little makeshift stand here to hold the Steam Deck up. And for my HDMI adapter, USB Type-C to HDMI, I've got power in just to charge the unit up. And I've got a dongle plugged in for my mouse and keyboard. I'm just using a cheap wireless mouse and keyboard for this unit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this into the Steam Deck. The other end of the HDMI cable is plugged into my external monitor. And as you can see, it pops right up. So I'm charging the Steam Deck also, but you don't need power in. If you just wanna run on battery, you can always do that. Now on the Steam OS portion here, using a mouse and keyboard is a bit cumbersome. You can still use the built-in controls of the Steam Deck. But what we really wanna do for this video is get into desktop mode. And to do that, we're gonna press the Steam button. We're gonna go down to power. And from here, switch to desktop. So we'll just go ahead and choose this. And if this is the first time you're using an external monitor with desktop mode, the screens might be a little funky. I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick. Personally, I don't wanna use the Steam Deck's built-in screen. I wanna use my external monitor. And the first time I plugged it in, I've got a secondary monitor as my external. Main screen is gonna be on the Steam Deck's display. What we're gonna do is swap this from the settings. So in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got our little settings icon here. That's the application we're gonna use. And I'm gonna drag that window down to my Steam Deck screen. It just makes it easier for this video. From here, we wanna find our display settings. So we're gonna go right here. And it's gonna pop up with our display manager. So the laptop screen is the built-in screen on the Steam Deck, and we have our external monitor. I wanna set this as primary, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off. So I'm not gonna be using the built-in Steam Deck screen for this because I really like having that bigger external monitor when it comes to using a desktop. So we've got our main display set as our external display and we wanna go back to settings because right now it's gonna be set at around 720p. This is a 1080p monitor. We're gonna go ahead and swap that out right now and make sure you're set to 60 hertz. Click apply. We're now running at 1080p on our external monitor. You can always stick with 720p if you want to, it's really up to you, but I like having that extra resolution and the Steam Deck can definitely handle it in desktop mode. So now we've got our external monitor set up. We've got that mouse and keyboard plugged in. We can use this like any other desktop operating system. If you've used Windows, you can use this. This is based on Arch Linux and they've made it really easy to navigate. Down in the lower left-hand corner, we have our app drawer. There's a lot of different categories in here, and we do have some pre-installed stuff that might be useful to some people. And one of the main ones here is Firefox, our web browser. We could also install Chrome or even the Edge browser if you want to. And it's just like using any other internet browser. We can head to any site we want to. I'm just gonna go to YouTube. We'll find a demo video. And uh, this actually does 1080p playback really well. So here we are, we'll go full screen with it. I can turn stats for nerds on. We can go up to 4K if we want to, but 1080p still looks good. And we're only working with a 1080p display. But overall, using the Steam Deck in desktop mode for email checking, web browsing, video playback works out really good. And that's where a lot of people spend a lot of time online, just the browser itself. But there's a lot more that we can do with this. It's a full-fledged Linux operating system. There's a lot of free apps that we can install from video editors, photo editors, office suites, and things like that. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install those. It's really easy to do. I'm also going to show you how to update everything. And they've made it really easy on this system. So in order to get new applications without hitting up Terminal, otherwise known as Console, with this Arch version of Linux, we're going to find the Discover application, which is basically an updater slash app store. And everything here is free to download, but it also shows us our updates. Right here in the lower left-hand corner, I've got four updates. You can go ahead and read through all of the change log if you want to, or you can just choose Update All. Now, sometimes you will have to do a reboot, especially with like a desktop update. But uh, right now, we're just going to go ahead and let this finish up. Should be pretty quick. I'm on my AC Wi-Fi. And once this is finished, it'll let us know that we're up to date. You can always manually check for updates from here, but we can also download new applications. So over here, if we go to applications, and it's gonna bring up a category list. So I'll go full screen with it. 
lots of great stuff in here. At the top, accessibility, you can run down the list, but we'll just hit up games here. Inside of here, we have some subcategories from action all the way to emulators. So if you want to install, let's say an Xbox emulator or a PS3 emulator, like RPCS3, we'll just choose install. It's going to go ahead and install it for us. And once this is finished, we can go down to our app drawer and games are obviously going to be listed in games, but here we have it, RPCS3 installed, ready to go. So yeah, really easy to update and install new applications, but now I want to go through a couple applications that I would highly recommend using with this version of Linux. We do have a search bar at the top, but we're just going to head over to graphics and we're going to install a photo editor called GIMP. This is basically free Photoshop, very powerful. I use it on a lot of different Linux systems, even ARM-based single board computers like the Raspberry Pi. I know not everybody's going to need a photo editor, but it's here. Once it's installed, we'll go ahead and open it up. This is the development version, but it's really easy to use. So I've already downloaded just a PNG from Google. We'll go ahead and open that up. You can add some text to it. You can change the colors. You can change the hue. You can basically do anything that you can with Photoshop and GIMP for free on the Steam Deck. But this will come in handy to a lot of people. You know, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you can create your own thumbnails from here. It's really up to you. Or you can edit your own home photos. But it's here. It's free. It's easy to install. There is a little bit of a learning curve getting used to all the interfaces and everything like that. But it's worth a shot. And if anybody needs a free photo editor on the Steam Deck, I would highly recommend installing GIMP. The next application I would recommend installing is called LibreOffice. This is a full office suite. We've got a calculator. You can set up spreadsheets. You can edit documents from here. And we'll just install it. Again, once it's finished, it's going to be in our app drawer. So we'll have a new section here, Office. And as you can see, we've got a lot to choose from. I'm just going to go with LibreOffice. And as soon as we open this up, we can actually choose whatever we want. Over on the left hand side, everything's easy to navigate. We're just going to go with the document editor. So you can import documents and edit them from here, or you can create new documents. And these apps that I'm showing you don't take up a lot of space. And in the future, they could definitely come in handy. So it's worth at least installing them for now. Next one I want to show you is a native video player. I've got an MP4 video that I've downloaded here, and I have no way to play it yet until I download an application called VLC. Now, you could also download Kodi if you want to. There's a lot of different applications, but I always choose VLC. So from here, we're just going to find VLC. It supports a lot of different video formats. Quick to install, and now we can play our native videos from an external hard drive, internal hard drive, or your micro SD card. We could open this as the application itself, or we could head directly to our video directory. Mine's under Downloads. We'll just double click on it. It'll automatically open up with VLC. Like I mentioned, this was just a little example video, MP4, nothing special here. But it's a great video player, and I'd say it's a must-have if you consume a lot of media on your Steam Deck. Speaking of media, what about a video editor? Well, from here, we can actually download something called Kden Live. Very powerful video editing software. I've already got it installed. You can just search for it. I'm going to launch mine here. It's very powerful. There is a bit of a steep learning curve getting used to, you know, editing your videos with this, but it's a full-fledged video editor. You can make YouTube videos with this, no problem at all. It's got a lot of different effects built into it. We can add voiceovers. You can import videos directly from your micro SD card in your camera, or if you just use your phone, you can import them from there. Or if you're using one of these USB Type-C to HDMI adapters with extra USB ports on it, I would recommend an external hard drive. You can export them directly to that external hard drive. But yeah, this does work out really well, and you can definitely edit some videos on the Steam Deck using Kden Live. So that was just a couple of my app recommendations when using your Steam Deck as a desktop, but your best bet is to just search here. There's thousands and thousands of applications, and if you need to get something done in Linux, there's probably a free application that can definitely help you out. And real quick, if we right-click on the desktop, we can go through here and change our wallpaper and kind of customize the operating system to our liking. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of different wallpapers we can choose from. We'll just click Apply. It'll set that wallpaper for us. And over in the right-hand column, we can actually change how these icons look. We can change how everything behaves on the desktop. I would say just experiment with it. See what works for you. You can make it look exactly like you'd want. 
Now, aside from using this in desktop mode for work and let's say multimedia playback, be it music or videos, we can also game in desktop mode. I've got this Xbox controller connected to the Steam Deck over Bluetooth. I'm going to go ahead and launch Left 4 Dead 2. And remember, my external display is actually 1080p instead of 720 or 1280 by 800 like the built-in Steam Deck screen. And with these older Source Engine games, we can take this up to 1080p high or very high, and it does run really well like this. So real quick, let's go into the settings. Video, you can see that we're at 1080p. If we go to advanced settings, we're at very high. And this runs amazingly. I mean, it's not a super hard game to run. You can use your keyboard and mouse, or you can use an external controller. So obviously you can game in desktop mode, but for the newer AAA stuff, 1080p high settings really is gonna be out of the question. You could still do 720p, but with this older stuff, 1080 over 60, very high settings does work. So yeah, there you have it. You can definitely use the Steam Deck as a pretty powerful little mini PC. You can always use the built-in screen on the Steam Deck in desktop mode, but I just personally prefer using a bigger monitor. I mean, it just gives us more space to work with. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in checking out more Steam Deck videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. And if there's anything else you want to see running on the Steam Deck, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.